I have to say I'm a little sad to see the, the V go. I'm a little sentimental about it. The signs themselves are kind of landmarks and you know when they change well, and there's a new one that doesn't quite fit with all the others and doesn't look quite as, as worn and you know uh, that that bums me out a little bit. I'm concerned because it's very congested as is. I think it was more serene over there in the V train. You had a chance to read a book and no one hovers over you. It's very terrible about that. That's uh, it's going to be a big headache coming to uh, to work in the morning. You know, uh, they got to cut costs someplace, so I guess that's, uh, I mean, the W and the V were redundant. There are other trains that they can take. Well, to me, it's pretty much the same as the R. <laughs> One time I was on the W and I accidentally kicked a girl's foot. And even though I apologized, she, del she deliberately stamped on my foot as she left. One of the major benefits of living in New York City is the fact that everyone takes the subway. It's the uh, common denominator. It's certainly, um, it's a sign of equality. I think that when the city makes those hard decisions and when they cut sub certain subway lines, it's, it's unfortunate, but um, what can you do?